Mm, I need my water, man. In Jersey right now, it hit 80 something degrees. Like, it's a little bit much. But yeah, we are in July. So, it's going to be that type of situation. It's going to be hot now. Yeah, let's get this going, shall we? This is my favorites for the month of June. I can't believe June just flew right by. Like, yeah, real quick. We in July now. Shout out to myself. B-Day, July 4th, 4th of July, and Independence Day. So, yeah, shout out to all the cancers out there um, that watch uh, this channel. You know what I mean? All the homies out there. But yeah, we're gonna jump into my June favorites. And it's a good one. But I wanna say, hey, what's good? It's your boy on eggs. Welcome back to another video. Yep, another one. If you're into favorites, monthly favorites, hauls, declutters, everyday makeup drawer, testing newness, you know, basic makeup. <laughs> Every day in essential, essential worker, everyday makeup, <laughs> soft glam, then yeah, there's the channel for you. There's the channel for you. So definitely subscribe if you're new or if you haven't subscribed yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thumbs down if you don't care for it. Comment down below. Let's chat and get to know each other. And yeah, we're going to jump right into this. Let go. I mean, I could start off with some brushes because I have them right here. All right, so if you didn't know, for the month of June, I was a Moda Maven. Big shout out to Moda Brushes for making that come come to life. You know what I mean? A beautiful team to work with. I am obsessed with their brushes. I have so many of their brushes. It's like unbelievable. But yeah, their brushes are affordable. They feel luxurious. They, they feel creative. They make me creative. Um, like they create... They inspired me to create, basically, that's what I wanted to say. But this was my little favorites uh, duo that I picked for the month of June, which is the Complexion Wedge Duo. Um, you get a concealer brush and, like, the um, foundation brush, I say. You can use it for whatever you want to. Wet, you know, dry products, uh, blushes and concealers and skincare and just all kinds of goodness. But, yeah. I definitely have motor blush brushes linked down below. So if you want to check out anything from motor brushes, and there's a code down there too, you know what I mean? So yeah. All right, we're going to start off with this to clean brushes since we were just talking about brushes. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Solid Sponge uh, Cleanser. It's a charcoal like soap in there. Yo, this lasts pretty long and it's affordable. It's so easy to clean your brushes or your sponges. You just, you know, you wet it, swirl your brush in it. You know what I mean? Wet the brush, wet the cleanser, uh, the charcoal thing, and uh, just work the brush in there. And it basically gets all the dirt and all the makeup off the brush. And it's sensitive enough for your brushes and for the hairs of the brushes. And it's just a really good um brush cleaner and it's affordable like uh you know elf kills it you know what i mean so yeah definitely look into one of these from elf they're fantastic all right last month i think it was last month i was sent a little collection from pacifica the wake up beautiful like collection they have a cleanser too i don't care for the cleanser it broke my face out i'm gonna say that real quick but um yeah this stuff was sent to me in pr uh, this is the retinoid body lotion and then the retinoid body serum. They're both fantastic. I like to use the lotion for the top half of my body and then the uh, serum for the bottom half. Just very luxurious feeling and hydrating and moisturizing. It just feels nice on the skin. Like it just feels really nice on the skin. It says to use it at night, but I use it during the day whenever I feel like using it, basically. After a shower, pretty much really nice i do have something from dove um it's a dry spray 
I thought it was a deodorant, but it's like a body deodorant. Feels really nice for after you get out of the shower and just like refresh the body. Well, you know, you refresh the body after you showered anyway, but I don't know, it just feels good on the body. I just been really enjoying it. It's empty, so I'm gonna throw it in my empties, but I like the smell of it. Um, it was like kind of a mistake thinking that it was for the underarms, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, I mean, it says deodorant, but I mean, it's like a body spray, a body deodorant. Um, like sometimes after work, you know, you can spray your body real quick if you're going to run to the store, something like that. If you're not going to take a shower yet, you know what I mean? Spray the body, all the places, you know, all the places. And yeah, it just smells good, feels good. And feel, I don't know, it's just a nice product. You know what I mean? Dove has been killing it. They have some good stuff. All right. This was sent to me from First Day Beauty. This is the Anti-Chief Stick. Um, when they, oh, when they first sent this to me, it was in the winter, so I didn't use it. But it's like a stick. You put it in any area where you're going to, uh, where you chief, chief, if you call it chief. Like any, like in between the little fat areas, in between the legs. So yeah, now that it's get that it's boiling hot outside, I've been using it and it's fantastic. It just refreshes that area and, and your skin don't end up like sticking to each other. You get none of the chief, I guess. It really works. It's a fantastic product, dude. Like. Yeah, it's safe for sensitive skin. It's just worked magic. Magic, I'm telling you. All right, we're not done with e.l.f. yet. I got so much products from e.l.f. Y'all already know what it is. This is the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is one of the best makeup removing, uh, like, cleansing balms that I've used so far that are, that's more affordable. I use an, um, what was that? A, ne a Neutrogena one. And y'all know I love some Neutrogena, but it was horrible. It was like $12, and it sucks. This is way more affordable, and it really works. Takes stubborn makeup off. Um, smells good. Feels good. After the skin, like, after you use it, your skin still feels moisturized. It's amazing makeup remover. Um, works great for, like, waterproof makeup. The whole shebang so yeah definitely check it out like i said before it's affordable all right we have some cologne this is from the same brand as zara azaro uh this is the most wanted and this one is wanted this is just a smaller size this is finished i finished this but i just wanted to shout them out i've been using their colognes since i was like 11. 12 years old when my mom got me my first cologne for either my birthday or Christmas. I'm not sure which one, but I've been wearing cologne since I was a kid and I'm obsessed with it. But yes, shout out to them. These look beautiful. Like I don't even want to get rid of the bottle because I think it looks so cool. Like definitely check into this brand for your husbands, ladies, uh, and even for yourself. Why not? You can wear cologne too. <laughs> You could wear cologne. One has more of a sweeter smell and the other one is more masculine. But they're masculine smells. I just wanted to uh, say, there's the one that they just sent me like last month, I think, or the month before. Fantastic. Like, I know I love my Clinique Happy, but this has been killing it recently. You know what I mean? So yeah, definitely look into them and shout out to Azaro for, um, you know, sending PR my way. I really appreciate it. Oh, the clone that I used when I was younger that got me into Azaro is um, Chrome. It's like a blue clone. Cologne. Oh, so good. So good. And their packaging, they always kill it. I told you. All right, I'm not done with Elf yet. I told you that. This is the Blemish Breakthrough Acne Calming Water Cream. It has a 1% salicylic acid. Uh, acne treatment with a 4% niacinamide. I got the little small one to test it out. It's amazing. It's for acne prone skin. 
safe for sensitive skin uh has no smell to it feels like a gel like water cream type of type of uh lotion or a moisturizer so good that when you like it you get another one so i finally bought the full size i love it definitely a repurchase i've been dealing with a little bit of acne you know adult acne um yeah it's really weird even like milia milia i think a little white hands and stuff um it helps prevent all of that it just this line it works really well like i have the cleanser and it's chef's kiss uh yeah so another go-to product i love elf's um skincare and moisturizers i haven't tried one moisturizer from them that was bad so yeah all right, lip products. I'm gonna start off with these e.l.f. Squeeze Me lip balms because I wanna throw one on. I have grape and strawberry. They're both fantastic. They're affordable, I think like $4. They work really nice too. Give a little, you know, a little something on the lips. I just love them, they smell so good too. They work really well. They just feel really nice on the lips, um, like a nice lip balm that's hydrating and uh, not like sticky or anything like that. Just really good. Feel good. They smell good. People complaining about the size of them, but I mean, we have a lot of lip products and a lot of stuff. So are you really going to go through your products like that? Like I, I try to, you know, recycle through, recycle, uh, up, cycle cycle through my products so you know even though i've been going i've been reaching for these non-stop especially throwing them in my bag and taking them to work you know i still try to use other products too but these are amazing they just feel so good and affordable smell good elf <laughs> elf <laughs> yeah i know i always talk about the plump shots from uh buxom always but i'm gonna get rid of my little clear ones because i'm gonna talk about some of the ones with color with color <laughs> so i have four of them with color color do i have another one no i only have four they sent me a beautiful pr package and yeah i got these in pr um when they first came out, I tried a clear one and fell in love. And then they sent me one in PR. And then they sent another one in PR. Like, down the down the line, they've just been sending them. And they finally came out with different, like, um, different shades. So, we have, what is this called? Get Naked, a more brownie nude. Um, uh, Dolly Babe, which is their iconic color. The dolly shade which is like a muted rose like it's like a muted rose like a neutral rose um i have a brown one that i never wear which is called wine obsession yeah wine obsession i think once it starts getting colder out i'll start rocking it and then another one that i use all the time soft blush they're just so beautiful they're plumping, they're comfortable, they give a little color to the lips, they last pretty long, they're not sticky, they're collagen infused, they're just great for your lips. Uh, they have so many vitamins, not vitamins, they have a lot of um, nutrient products into the formula, and they're just fantastic products. Like, y'all know I, be, I talk about it all the time. But I was tired of like talking about the clear ones. So I was like, let me switch it up and use other ones. They go perfectly with the lip liners, the Buxom lip liners. But yeah, definitely check these out when, you know, like some of those sales come up. Um, like the Sephora sale and Ulta sales and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Last lip product is from Kosis. This is the Heat Wave. That's not what it's called. The Wet Stick. Moisturizing Lip Shine, it's in shade Heat Wave. It's a neutral rosy beige. These are fantastic. I want to pick up some more of them. A nice look sheer lipstick. Uh, that's what it looks like. And uh, 
it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i love throwing this on the lips it's just a nice formula it's comfortable a, like a, a nice color to to the lips you know what i mean like just an easy formula an easy formula and these are like pretty much new that they just came out so yeah definitely check into that and yeah let's move over to what something else <laughs> okay we'll do a little complexion products the l'oreal true match uh super blendable foundation mine is in shade n6 i have it on my face it's so beautiful it's so beautiful it just melts into my skin it gives me like a like a light to medium coverage it looks beautiful and just like skin like it gives me like a skin finish um I don't know. It's just stunning on the skin. Affordable. I've been using the hell out of it. Like, uh, it definitely is halfway now. I will repurchase this. It might be one of my top, my top foundations of this year. When it came out, I was dying to try it. Like, dying to try it. I just love the formula so much. And it has a lot of skincare benefits in the uh, formula. And yeah, it definitely like made me start trying out L'Oreal products because then I got the L'Oreal blushes and the bronzer and yeah, it's just a beautiful formula. It's like skin-like, breathable, looks beautiful, blends well into the skin. Yes, from L'Oreal, it's stunning. And we have a concealer from Glowish. Yeah, this is the Bright Light Sheer Concealer. I have it under my eyes. It gives you a very sheer light coverage. Um, it has really nice little glow to it. It's really beautiful. It kind of, it's kind of like a under eye brightener or a like conceal, like a, it's like a brightener. So wherever you put it, it'll brighten a little bit. But yeah, it goes very well with tinted moisturizers and uh skin tints and this foundation um yeah just an easy product to to use i would use it with the glowish foundation or skin tint or whatever but it's a little too deep for me the skin tint the glowish one um so yeah this is in shade uh 05 medium it's just really beautiful i'll show you the applicator has like a little like chunky applicator. Yeah, it's a nice little shade. That's what it looks like. I should have swatched the uh, foundation. But yeah, a nice thin consistency. I really love it for under the eyes. Like it's really good. Two mascaras, cause you know I'm hashtag natural lashes. So the first one is the Lash Blash uh, Cleantopia Mascara. It's in brown. Like dark brown. I have it on my eyes now. Gives me volume, length. Um, it flakes a little bit. Uh, like every now and then I have a little so a little flyaway type of situation. But it's beautiful. Um, it's affordable. It's, it has like a um, hourglass type of brush wand situation. And yeah, it, it's really nice. It's the latest one from CoverGirl. So yeah, definitely check that out. And I really enjoyed the, uh, well, the clean, uh, what is it? The clean, there's a clean mascara. It has all like clean ingredients. And yeah, I really enjoy that factor of the mascara, even though it works. So that's the other part of it. You know what I mean? Um, there's the About Face 1994 mascara. It's really nice packaging. It's affordable. It has a rubber long wand. It gives me volume length. It is in uh, black. Uh, it's a really nice mascara. It lasts really long, easy to remove at the end of the night or whenever you're taking your mascara off. Really nice mascara. Yeah, they're both great mascaras. Oh, I have a powder from Dominique Cosmetics. So this was sent to me in PR. This is the translucent setting powder. Listen, I think I like this more than a Laura Mercier powder. It's just a thinner powder. It's more finey, finely milled. Um, and I really enjoy it. It's just such a light powder that you could just fluff 
anywhere. You know what I mean? You fluff it anywhere. Um, it doesn't mess with the finish of your makeup. It just sets the makeup. Like, you know what I mean? My skin still looks a little dewy. Um, it didn't change anything. It just set the makeup, you know? It's an easy powder to work with. I love the packaging. I really want to try their brow products. They got some new brow products. So, yeah. Uh, shout out to Dominique Cosmetics. This is beautiful. All right. Last products. We have blushes. <laughs> I have a powder and a liquid. So, first is the powder that I have on my face, which is Jaclyn Cosmetics Blurring Blush. Blurring Cheek Tint. I have both of the shades on my face. I mixed them together to give me this like um, coral-ish type of shade. They're really beautiful. So yeah, I have a pink one, plush pink and plush peach. So they have like, a little wand like that. This one's pink. I've worn them alone and I've worn them obviously together. Uh, they're blurring. They're so beautiful. Like, uh, just so beautiful, these blushes. I can't stop reaching for them. So there we go. That's what they look like. Yeah, it's pigmented, but easy to blend out. Yeah, it looks beautiful. They're blurring. Like I say, easy to blend out. They have, I think, like eight shades or something like that. It's a really nice formula. I love wearing them they last pretty long like the longevity i think they're priced very well um yeah and then the last product we have from house labs this is the color fuse blushes um i find myself always reaching for these <laughs> uh even though i didn't have them no i did have i had two of them actually i had all of them in my everyday makeup drawer because i bought a new shade so i had uh palomo palomo peach and hibiscus haze first hibiscus haze let me swatch them really quickly they have a nice like gelish type of powder formula um yeah that's Hibiscus Haze. It's more of like a mauve shade. Um, and they have like a little bit of a, what is it called? I don't know, a little bit of a, of a, a I wanna say a little bit of a glow, not a glow, but like a little bit of a reflect. Um, a little bit of a reflection, I meant to say. Um, yeah, and then I have Palomo Peach which is more of a peach shade. Yeah, it's right there. I know they're not really looking exactly what they should be looking like. That's the peach shade. Yeah, you know, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know why they're not, the swatches are not looking like what I know they're supposed to look like. <laughs> New shade, <laughs> new shade. This, this is the Lavender Blondie one. Looks like that, beautiful. But I was hearing that more dark skin tones, um, it looks ashy on them, look at that. Oh, which is disappointing. Like these blushes look beautiful on everybody. Um, they're like a gel to powder formula. It's a unique formula for sure, a unique formula. And yeah, I've been reaching for those nonstop. Um, I love them. They're expensive as shit, but I think they're worth it. I really do. They have some nice shades. And if you're buying them from Sephora, they're considered limited edition. So they don't have every shade over there. I think they have like the ones that I have. Uh, the ones I have are like their, well, besides like the watermelon one. Uh, but the ones that I have are more, are, are like popular shades, um, cause they're more subtle, but the new one, the blondie one, uh, lavender blondie, that's their latest situation. So it's at Sephora, but if you want any of the ones that they don't have anymore on the website, go to house labs, their website, and you'll find them right there. So yeah, 
that's my favorites for the month of June. What you guys think? It was a difficult one. I'm not going to lie. It's a difficult one because I didn't... Some stuff... Some things weren't like... Like the Sun Touchable uh, SPF uh, All Set for Sun situation. I've been using, using this a lot. But I couldn't add this in here because it's still new to me. You know what I mean? So that's the stuff that... I mean, this is new to me, but this is my second one, you know? I've been enjoying the new brush from e.l.f., the nose contour brush. Like, yeah. I have a lot of stuff that I've been loving, but it's newer. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Definitely let me know if any of your favorites for this month. Like, um, I really want to know. Yeah. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't done so yet. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. And yeah, I got to go deuces. I got things to do.